Hi, Slightly Unblended. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today, I'm doing this look. It's a little out there for what I normally film, so if you'd like to see how I got it, then just keep on watching. this eye like two and a half hours ago granted I was filming it for TikTok as well but I won't put that on TikTok until after this tutorial has been up for a minute more than likely um this because this is my more in-depth one this is I will probably end up doing bits of voiceovers because when I tell you that this is one of the most difficult eye looks I think I've ever tried to give a go and I am really excited about it. I'm going to tell you who it is, uh, who the original artist is because I did draw inspiration. I've been in a rut lately. The original artist is Shiva Makeup on Instagram and when I come across this look, I, I could not get the look off of my mind and I was like, you can't do that. You, you, you don't, you don't liner. And then I was like, you know what? It's on my brain. I'm going to give it a go. This is what I did. So I already primed my lid with the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas and Fair for my inner corner and then like the white for the outer bit which I'll probably add a little more later because I, this is going to be a little while. I'm also like totally feeling the vibe with that uh, TikTok where the girl was crying. She's like, I have so much stuff to do and I waited till today and then the cat, uh, if I can put it in, I will. That's my favorite TikTok right now. It's a mood. So to start out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my... I laid every brush out and then I also got some new ones in that I'm really excited about using. I also I bought two of the same one, but I was just really excited. I was like, I'm going to try it because I love tiny brushes and I was like, the tinier the better, for especially for looks like this. I will say that most definitely. This is a lot of rambling, I'm sorry. But tinier the brushes the better. So to start out, I'm taking this Melt Cosmetics 523 brush. I'm going to go into the shade Covet from the Surge Palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to start to, oh, I need to put, I need to add some of the clean canvas underneath my eye as well, because halfway through this, I am going to do my face kind of off camera and get back into it because I never do face first. And so I was like, ah, when I got to the step and I was like, how am I gonna complete it? It was like, base <laughs> so with this 523 brush and covet from the surge palette i'm just going to take this dark purple and focus it towards that inner corner of my of my eye area just a little bit and take it almost like a v shape but like a half circle i'm going to focus it on the lid just a little bit Though this color combo did give me an idea for a look, I'm excited to try it, so be ready for that. With the Makeup Shack T66 brush, I am going to just ever so gently blend out Covet. Back and forth windshield wiper motions. And I'm gonna take a little bit of Stay with that same brush, and right where I left off, I'm just going to pat it right kind of up against Covet. Right here, I do want to say shout out to my mom. She almost made me cry this look off earlier. I sent her a picture of it and I sent her the screenshot of the look. And she was like, oh, I like that. And I was like, thank you. And then she texted me back a little bit later because I didn't respond because I was doing the other part, or like other part of my eye. She was like, I really like that look. So shout out to mom for making <laughs> making me happy. <laughs> so with the same brush, the Makeup, uh, Makeup Shack T66 brush, I'm taking Vamp from the Blends palette. And I'm just going to kind of blend that out as well. I'm just patting it on. Just kind of patting it along the edges of the purple. I am going to go back in and touch it up. I'm going to kind of stamp it up towards my crease a little bit. I'm going to clean that brush off and I'm going to go back into... What shade was it? I don't really 
really, for some reason, I don't use these purples in the serge palette enough like i need to use them more because they're beautiful but stay is the shade i just i've panned almost all of my purples in my blends palette and it's like i need to start using the beautiful purples in the serge yes i opened the red bull and didn't even get a drink of it but i just my brain is all over today I'm just patting this down It's also Friday when I'm filming this and this is going up Sunday, so yay me for procrastinating. <laughs> Let's all laugh at me, please. Okay, so I don't think that I've done a video on my channel yet with this palette. I've been meaning to. I've just had the brain fart. So this is the Fresh Paint Beauty, the Painter's Palette. It is absolutely beautiful. And I have found that this palette has like one of my favorite yellow formulas I've ever tried. And this shade right here is like a salmon -y shade. I'm obsessed. I'm in love. I that's what we're going to use right now <laughs> so with the same brush i have it cleaned off i'm going to take the pretty salmon -y shade and i'm just going to go ahead and start to tap this on just do a little tap in motion to get a nice little blenderoo i'm going to drag it out a little bit oh and what i meant to do was take the colors down see sometimes we mess up and i try to get ahead of myself so i'm just gonna go back into these purples real quick i'm gonna put a little bit of stay right here and a little bit of covet right here and then i'm gonna go back into go back into vamp vamp's another shade that i really really like and i used it a good bit because there was a dent in it and i just hadn't in a while so i was like yes i'm just gonna Blend it out this way and take it down, just doing little pats. So now I'm going to go into that beautiful salmon-y shade and just ever so gently pat it on. And I'm just going to do a little back and forth windshield our promotions and then pat, 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 pat. And I'm going to go back in and touch up the vamp shade real quick. And then I'm going to go into the yellow from the painter's palette. With the doe color number nine brush, I'm taking the yellow from the painter's palette. And I'm just going to focus on patting it to blend here. Just a little tap. A little back and forth windshield wiper motions so i don't remember was it last week's video or the week before where i said i'd went to ross well this is a shirt that i got from there it's got a hello kitty on it it's so cute i'm super excited about it but i'm just gonna take this yellow and also kind of run it through the crease i've switched over to the blend bunny b1 brush because i kind of need to clean that other brush off a little bit better so blend bunny cosmetics B1 brush and the yellow from the painter's palette is what I'm using to hop into my crease and give it a little blender room. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with that T66 brush in the salmon -y shade from the painter's palette and I'm just gonna touch it up a little bit. I'm gonna tap off the excess and just kind of tap it on. And I'm gonna go from the side of my face at an angle here just a little bit. And just tap it. And I'm gonna go touch up Vamp real quick with the from the blends palette with the blend palette. I'm gonna take the palette and just blend it out, right? <laughs> what are words? I'm just gonna do little baby blender rouge. Real quick with the M25 brush or the M23 brush, I'm gonna go into Covet and touch it up just a little bit. I'm just kind of give it a little blend. Oh, 
I'm gonna take a little bit more stay and just blend it. And it can be a little bit messy, like on this inner corner, because I'm gonna clean it up. It's gonna look pretty wild. It is a very much so trust process kind of look. So. <laughs> I'm going to touch up Vamp real quick with that T66 brush. And then that Salmony shade from the Painter's Palette, just real quick. And with the B1 brush, I'm going to take a little bit more of the yellow. I'm going to blend that kind of towards the bridge of my nose. I am gonna take a little bit of the Makeup A Murder Pastel Yellow pigment to kind of soften the blend a little bit as well. And I'm gonna take a little bit more of the Salmony shade and just give her a little blend. I'm gonna take a little bit more of Vamp on that T66 brush, just cleaning it off real quick. And I'm just gonna Gently pat that on. Okay, for a minute this is liable to be voiceover mode because I have to really, really concentrate on getting this to be even and cross my fingers that I don't mess up. <laughs> Alright, so I'm taking some micellar water on a Q-tip and I'm trying to like get up in the corner of my eye to clean it out. I'm just pressing it down and kind of like dragging it down to get it clean and to have the shape and then with the doe color number 15 brush i'm going to touch up vamp and then i'm going to go in and touch up stay just to get the depth back because i did end up losing a little bit of the color that i wanted to have be there and be very vibrant so i had to go in and touch it up Okay, I kind of have a mess for sure, but I'm going to definitely take a little bit more of this muscular water on a Q-tip. It's a very much so trust the process kind of thing, and I'm quite happy about it. Okay, definitely the liner is tricky, um, but I'm not quite there yet. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit more of the drawer clean drawer cosmetics clean canvas in white and start with the lid stuff because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's what I did last time so I'm gonna take it and apply it to my lid just so that I can have a nice clean tacky area to work with and I'm just gonna kind of bring it out into the shape of a wing as well Okay, so with the Blends palette, I'm going to take Inside Joke on the Makeup Shack T61 brush. And I'm just going to pop it on. Okay, so about like this. And then I'm going to go into the shade Bubble Bath. And I'm just going to... Apply it, make the wing shape, and blend it with Inside Joke by just tapping it. I'm going to hop right back into this Painter's Palette real quick with this brush. Which is this? Elena Badreau brush. I'm going to take the yellow and just blend these together. I'm just patting it down. And I'm gonna take a little bit more of that yellow and just blend it. And I'm gonna take some of the Makeup and Murder Pastel, uh, Poison Pastel pigment. I can almost said neon. Oh, brain. But I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it on the doe color number nine brush and just lightly blend out, or just gently blend out this yellow so it has a more gradient blend going. So I'm just gonna circular motion. Do little circular motions, little patteroos. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tiny, um, all the words are wiped off of it and all the letters and numbers, but this was from the Furless Cosmetics and it's likely makeup collection from like 2018, I believe, but it's a small, tiny, rounded, I want to say it was a lip brush, but I'm going to use it for a little tiny detailed work for carving out this inner bit right here before I do my liner. So I'm going to take the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas in Fair just a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean this up get it nice sharp ready for some pastel liner and I will say that I struggled so hard right here it, it's like you can see my struggle marks but it's okay it was my first time ever trying that and I knew I was like that's gonna be hard but I was like that was really freaking hard so <laughs> anyway it's been fun I totally can't talk and do this. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to talk too much. Okay, so I'm gonna, if I, I may do voiceover to explain what I'm doing right here and try to zoom it in, so. So with this tiny little brush, I'm going in and taking the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas in Fair and trying to clean it up and get the shape, make sure it's sharpened, but also make it have the very like skin-like clean appearance. Like in the picture, I will try to put the picture in somewhere but I'm just going in and applying the clean canvas and sharpening kind of like a cut crease but not but kind of I know that was a lot of like words that meant nothing but I'm just going in and I'm cleaning up that space on the inner corner of my eye making sure that it looks nice and put together I didn't want it to look messy I wanted it to look as clean as the inspiration because that was something that had totally caught my eye with that look was how clean the look overall was and oh my gosh the color combo like I was just I was in love with that look the second that my eyes like come across the picture of it all right so now i kind of have the shape cleaned up like this this looks really cool so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna work with my under eye i was not very well put together when i've done this so or like when i did the other eye so i'm just gonna kind of follow the same situation so i'm gonna take the blends palette and vamp and i'm gonna take that on the t66 brush tap off the excess and just kind of get the shape of like the inner cat eye that's kind of going downwards. And I am going to go touch the purple up in just a second. But I want to really focus on blending it. And then I'm going to switch over to the painter's palette and go into that salmony shade real quick. Oh my gosh, my accent's so bad today. I'm gonna go back into vamp just real quick and bring it back. And I'm gonna take a tiny bit more of Covet on the same brush, but I've cleaned it off. I'm just gonna kind of extend it. And with the T61 brush for Makeup Shack, I'm gonna go into the yellow, into the yellow shade and blend it out. And just real quick, I'm gonna take this, it's likely makeup and furless cosmetics brush and I'm gonna put a little bit of micellar water on it, touch the back of my hand because I don't want too much. And I'm gonna sharpen it up a bit. Okay, this is definitely gonna have to be a voiceover, but I'm gonna take my Devault Beauty Lounge Mantra Liner and everything I need is within me. It's a beautiful pastel blue shade. So I'm gonna take this brush that I got off of Amazon. It was a pack of three. They're very cute. They're very like, I don't know, they're my favorite. So I'm just gonna do my liner now. <laughs> 
for the detailed liner on the inner corner area of my eye, I'm using the lightest amount of pressure. Like, I'm not, I'm just barely touching the brush, and I'm trying to keep the shape. It was a lot easier on the other eye because I am left-handed, so it was easier to work with and trying to do liner with my right hand as a no. So, I was just trying to angle the brush to work with the shape and create the shape of the inner corner, if that makes sense. So, I was just kind of like touching the brush down, trying to make sure that I didn't get heavy handed so I wouldn't have like a jaggy super thick liner but I did take it and just kind of like touch it to trace out the shape of that inner corner. Okay, so for right now, I'm going to go ahead and go put on some foundation or primer foundation and a little bit of concealer and then come back and do this bit and then uh, finish the rest of my face and all that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have my foundation and my concealer about how it's going to be, <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and take the painter's palette and go in with the... With the T61 brush, I'm going to go into the green. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of this green on right here. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to take this yellow with the same brush. I just cleaned it off. And what I'm going to do is bring it and then kind of bring it down. I'm really just patting it. And with the T66 brush, I'm gonna go into the, I'm gonna go into Vamp, right where the green leaves off. I'm gonna kinda shape it a bit. I'm gonna do like a half circular shape. And then kinda wing it. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that salmon -y shade to blend it out. And I'm going to use the Blend Bunny B1 brush in some of that yellow. And I'm going to clean it up with micellar water and a Q-tip and clean it with the drawer cosmetics clean canvas and fair do my lawn work so this is probably fixing to switch back into a voiceover so with the micellar water on a q-tip i'm really just kind of taking it and dragging it up towards like my ear at an angle to try to get the shape for the liner and i am going to go in with the clean canvas to clean it up but i'm sharpening the wing and trying to get the shape of like the lower bit and the shape of how the inner bit where the liner is going to be so right here, I took some concealer on a small concealer brush from Morphe. I don't remember the name or the number because it's wiped off. But I had messed up my base. So what I was doing was going in with the concealer to touch it up, make it sharpen, or sharper, and more to fix my base. But I also used it where I cleaned up the wing. And then I went in with the clean canvas to kind of have the space to work with because it it matches well like I feel like I could use the clean canvas as like a concealer on like certain bits so I was just using that to clean up my work where I use the micellar water the makeup shack t66 brush I went back into vamp just to touch it up and get it blended with the yellow to make it more defined sharper more vibrant just to make it really pop now I'm taking the M cosmetics illustrative liner it's a brush tip liner I that was a mouthful but what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna start to do a small wing and I'm just taking it and Starting from the outer corner of my eye, flicking it upwards. Try not to make it too dramatic of a wing, but just enough that there's a little baby wing. And I started from the outer corner of my eye, and I'm taking it, flicking it up, and also like working 
to connect it towards the inner corner and filling it in. Now, this is an eyeliner that I was obsessed with for a while in like 2018. And I just recently was like, hey, I'm going to order some more of that. Because it's been a while since I tried it and I just love it so much. It was like the first brush tip liner that I'd ever used. I did switch into my Wing Woman or Wing Girl uh Lottie London felt tip liner because I wanted something a little bit stiffer. So for the crease area, I'm taking that liner and I'm starting from like I'm trying to make it a little tiny baby line, barely touching the orange, and then I'm giving it the more dramatic appearance in the crease and then kind of angling it down. So like where the blue kind of starts to go up in the wing shape, I'm gonna kind of connect that liner down to the blue but not on to the blue it's gonna look like it's blending into it with the shape i'm just like starting from the inner corner going up putting it in the crease and then kind of angling it down and then like making it just be like a thin little line this part was so hard like trying to get that liner to angle on the side of my face i had never really tried anything like that so what i was trying to do was make the shape kind of like a obscure like c shape but it it was difficult it was all about little baby flicks and i got a little heavy handed and had to clean it up so i took a little bit more vamp to go in to like cover it up clean it up and then i took some more of the clean canvas and fair to sharpen it up because i like i said i did get a little heavy handed it was so difficult but it was really fun to give a try. Okay, I'm gonna go do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. All right, so this is the finished look. I started this at about noon, a little afternoon, and it is currently almost eight o'clock p.m. I am exhausted, but Feel like it was worth it i am obsessed i didn't think i'd be able to do it um there's still bits of it that i feel like are a little messy i probably could have done a little bit better but i i did it even though i told myself i couldn't so yay i'm excited i don't know what do you think what would you like to see me do next i know that this was a little different i know this was like a totally different look for me but i wanted to try a different shape i'm so overdoing the same cut crease and half cut crease so i was like let's step out and venture into more creative things and i was like all right bet i did it the liner was so hard but it was so fun yeah and these lashes are from blend bunny cosmetics they just come out with a new collection i'm like super excited but these are the style wings and I'm obsessed. I wore Saint the other day and I have two others. These are the Virtues. And let me reach behind me. I'm trying to organize because I have such a mess. But this is uh, Saint from the Virtues. And there is also the Vices side. And I have Risqué and Vixen. So I'm super excited to try these out as well. I'm going to try to film tomorrow because I, I don't think I'll have time to do like a full look, but I'm gonna try to do like a try on video, like a mini thing. So I'll probably do that as a short for on here and as a TikTok for sure. So if you wanna check that out, I'll have it up at some point. I just have to get it finished. Hopefully I'll be able to do it tomorrow. I've gotta import, export, all that good stuff with this tonight and have this ready by Sunday. So yeah. Let me know what you'd like to see next down below. Don't forget to use the hashtag slightly and blended for your chance to be featured in an upcoming video. If you'd like to keep up with my awkward face and shenanigans while well, I'm not here on YouTube, I'll have all my social media links in the description box below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to keep up with me while I am here on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. It means so much to me. And like, I really, really appreciate it. So thank you. And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Bye.